Good morning to all of you. Today we are going to read another poem titled as I cannot remember my mother. This poem is written by Robinder Nott Tagore, a well-known Indian poet, philosopher and painter. He has got Nobel Prize for his literary work that is known as Gitanjali in 1930. In this poem, I cannot remember my mother, which we are going to read the poet Rabindranath Nautraigo shows immense and sensitive feelings of a child about his mother who loves him very dearly. The poet who is the narrator of the poem remembers all the things that his mother used to do for him when he was a child. And the poet in this poem conveys us that he could not remember his mother if these strange feelings, these sensitive feelings, these intense feelings would not come to his mind. He remembers his mother when these feelings that his mother used to do for him comes to the mind of the poet and that is why the poet or the narrator of the poem remembers his mother very often. The poem that we are going to read is a very good master creation of the poet Ramananda Taigu and in this poem the poet remembers all the things that his mother used to do for him when he was a child. Now listen the poem and it is summary. I cannot remember my mother only sometimes in the midst of my play. A tune seems to hover over my play things. The tune of some song that she used to hum while watching my cradle. I cannot remember my mother only sometimes in the midst of my day, of my play. The poet says that he does not remember his mother. He does not have any feeling, any episode that his mother has did for the child and he could not have remembered his mother. The poet wants to convey us that when he wrote this poem, his mother has been died and after the death he could not remember his mother but sometimes he remembers his mother. At what time he remembers his mother? When he is playing. When he is playing with the things. At that time he remembers his mother. Why he remembers at that time his mother? When he is busy, when he is engaged with playing with the things. It is because when he is busy in playing things, a tune, a kind of song, 
a kind of humming seems to hover, seems to flow, seems to have over the playthings of his playthings, over the things that the poet is playing. And the tune of some song that she used to hum while writing my, writing my credit. And this tune is like the tune of his mother. When his mother was writing, when his mother was making to and fro to his cradle, to the cradle of this child, to the cradle of Rabindranath Tagore when he was a child, and his mother was putting him in the cradle and was singing a song for him. Uh, she was writing this cradle, she was making, she was um, um, making this cradle from side to side to and so and in order to have the sleep of her child so that his child may sleep and when the poet is busy with his playing things a kind of a steady kind of tune for, uh, flows over his playing things and at that time he remembers his mother because this tune is similar to the tune that his mother used to sing when he was as a boy and his mother has put him in the cradle and his mother used to uh, make to and flow to this cradle and she was humming, she was uh, having this kind of tune at that time. I cannot remember my mother, but when in the early autumn morning, the smell of surely flowers floats in the air, the scent of the morning service in the temple comes to me as the scent of my mother. Now the second act, the poet says that he could not remember his mother, but at another time he remembers him, her. He remembers his mother. And what time? But when in the early autumn morning, when it is the autumn season, when it is the autumn season, and in the autumn season, in the early morning of autumn season, when the smell of the shawli flowers floats in the air, shawli flower is a flower that blooms in the autumn season and this flower is used by the Hindus in the pujas. The Hindus that do pujas, they mostly use this kind of flower and when this, when the smell of this flower comes to the point, comes to the point in the early morning of autumn season, at that time he remembers his mother. And why he remembers his mother? At the smell of this shawling flower in the autumn season. It is because the scent of the morning service in the temple comes to me as the scent of my mother. It is because when his mother was going to temple and these Hindus which I have told you, they use this flower. It is a white flower. They use this flower in the pujas and when his mother was coming back from the temple she was having this scent with her and when this the scent of this flower comes to the point comes to the this child who has intense feelings for his mother when this scent comes to him at that time, he remembers his mother because he thinks that his mother had returned from the temple and when she was returning from the temple, she was having this kind of smell with, she was having the smell of this shawli flower with her. I cannot remember my mother. Only when from the from my bedroom window I send my eyes into the pillow of distant sky, I feel that the stillness of my mother's gauze on my face has spread all over the sky. I cannot remember.
number my mother. Now the third time, the poet once again says that he could not remember his mother. But at third time, at another time, he remembers her. And what time he remembers her? When, only when from my bedroom window, I sent my eyes into the window of this taxi cab. When the poet was sleeping in his bedroom, and in the morning when he wakes up, he, on his bed, looks towards the sky, looks towards the far away sky, looks towards the distant blue sky, looks towards the sky, send his eyes means to look, to have a look on the sky, which is blue in color, and which is far away from him. And when he looks, he this distant blue sky from his bedroom window, I feel that the stillness of my mother's gaze on my face has shifted all of the sky. And he feels that the sky is also looking towards him in a still, in a calm mood. And he compares the stillness and the calmness of the sky with the stillness and the calmness of his mother. When he was as a child in the bed, he was sleeping and his mother in the morning time comes to him in order to wake up. But finding the boy, finding her child in the bed, sleeping very calmly, she for some time looks towards the face of her child and in a subtle and calm manner, she looks towards the face of the child. And when the boy works up, she looks his mother looking towards his face in a calm and stillness mood, in a calm and stillness manner. And now, when the boy looks towards the below a distant sky through his bedroom window. He feels, he observes that sky is also looking towards him in a calm and in a calm manner, in a calm and subtle manner. And he feels, he compares this calmness and subtleness with the calmness and subtleness of his mother and when he feels this at the third time the poet remembers his mother. So we can say that this boy has intense and sensitive feelings of a child. It symbolizes that different things. It has so many symbolicisms. It symbolizes his mother with so many things. He symbolizes the tune of his mother with the tune of playing things. He symbolizes the smell of shawling flowers with the smell of his mother when she was returning from the camp. He compares the sitteness and the calmness of the sky with the sitteness and calmness of his mother. So, in short we can say that this poem gives us the emotional, the intense, the sensitive feelings of a child who does not have his mother. And he remembers his mother when something happens to him in the later life when his mother is not alive and when his mother was alive he compares these things with the things that his mother used to do with his child. I hope that you might have understood this point. Thanks for reading.